Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by you guys. For my returning viewers, thank you so much for your support. Thanks for uh, being here today. And also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my video. I'd be very grateful. It'll help me push my little channel forward. Um, for my new subscribers, I am a psychic medium and a healer. Um, I read tarot intuitively. I will leave all my information below to contact me about a personal reading. Um, please check me out on Instagram for reviews, testimonials, and just kind of an overall. If you want to take a, a, a look at my style of how I read tarot, like go ahead and do that. Um, so Virgo, let's start off with, this is going to be April 1st through the 15th, general love reading, okay? Let's start off with the general energies of love for you, okay? So instantly I'm hearing conflict. So some of you guys are dealing with a situation where maybe your heart is in conflict, like you're feeling a bit torn. There's a lot of upheaval in your heart. What's going on with you guys? I'm feeling a lot of pressure, like a lot of pressure and tension. Um, you guys with airy season in full effect, I feel that there's a likelihood of you guys having an outburst of anger this month. And I feel that you're, it, it's happening because you've suppressed your emotions for so long. What's the general energies of love for Virgo April 1st. And I think that you have a lot going on general love reading for Virgo. And I'm seeing that there's just a lot of um, built up repressed emotions in matters of your heart. And I feel that some of you guys just lost someone. Someone recently passed away. And I'm so sorry if that resonates with you. And I feel that this is blocking your heart chakra. You're blocked because there's so much grief. There's so much grief around your heart right now. I also feel that in matters of love, some of you guys have recently have been disappointed by someone and you're now, you're trying to balance your life with this grief, but it's blocking you right now from any new love at this very moment. Can I get a clarifier for 10 of wands? You're definitely walking through your shadow work right now. Um, there's a fear. There's definitely a fear here. There's a fear of being alone. Virgo. Ten of Wands and Moon. Virgo. Love energies. Please forgive your father or your mother. Please forgive your father or your mother for abandoning you. Whoever this, this resonates with. You have a parent who left you behind. You have a parent who didn't always show their emotions. And in turn, I feel like you're carrying this grief and it's spilling out. And I even just got really tired. So please watch your energy levels as well this month because I'm feeling like you guys are really pushing. And there's a level of exhaustion in your emotional capacity that's reaching its threshold, okay? So... <coughs> Please forgive your parents, forgive your mom, forgive your father for, for abandoning you or whatever kind of um, issues where you felt left behind because it's triggering your love. The way you love, it's, it's coming out in the way you love where you feel slighted when people set boundaries with you, okay? Virgo. Sorry, you guys cards are like yeah see you guys are doing so much healing right now oh my babies I'm so sorry I know I feel that like the minute I tapped into your energy I literally went from level like having a regular amount of energy to like no energy so you guys are really just shit you guys are going through it but you know what I love about the star card is that it's it's this is spirit and your angels reminding you that there's gonna be a better day you're gonna be okay you're going to be okay. You just got to have faith. Have faith. There's something better. Okay? So what opportunities and matters of love does Virgo have this month? April 1st through the 15th. 
there's a Cancer Scorpio Pisces on the radar. This person's like a teddy bear is what I'm seeing. And they're very loving. They're very loving. And they're very, um, you know, warm towards you. So I see this as a potential love. It's coming towards you this month, the beginning of the month. Capricorn. I see a Capricorn towards you. This is going to be a very, like, good match in terms of the way you guys view the world. There's a business-like relationship here with the Capricorn. So you may even work with this person and there's a crush. Opportunities, Virgo, love. I'm seeing that you guys are, like, walking through um, kind of wet snow, snow that's been melted a little bit, and you're walking your snow boots through the snow, but you're walking in a way where you're scared that the ice might crack and you might fall through. So you're walking on the nice, Virgo. I think that you're trying to cover up so hard all your emotions. You're trying to cover up so many of your feelings that this month, I really see a huge outburst if you don't watch it. What is blocking Virgo from love? What is blocking Virgo from love? You may have a woman who's standing in between you and your heart. You may be thinking about a feminine energy, Leo, Sag, Aries, someone from the past. You may be thinking about this person. What is standing in between? What is blocking Virgo from love? What is blocking Virgo from love? You're not moving on from old resentments. You're not moving on from old resentments is blocking. You're like literally holding on to every slight. You might have you might have felt like a uh, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries did you wrong. And you're like you cannot move on. Like I'm seeing a huge blockage around that, okay? So, what is the outcome for Virgo? It matters the love this month. And then we're going to go through the cards, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me if my voice sounds raspy. I feel incredibly... I've been sick, so... Can I get a clarifier for the lovers, please? That's a beautiful card to have as an outcome. April 1st through the 15th. Oh my god, this is beautiful, you guys. Yes, I love that. I love that. Someone from the past is coming back to try to, like, make things right with you. But we'll get there. Give me one second. So, the beginning of the month, we have you here stressed out, okay? Um, in matters of love, you can't make room for love if you don't allow yourself to prioritize your heart space. All right? Right now, your heart is full with the past, past burdens, memories, trauma, you're carrying it all to the finish line. And this is about a warrior. You're being perseverant. But but the thing is, it's like it's not benefiting you. In this situation, in matters of love, it's, it's blocking your ability to receive. You're so busy carrying all this baggage, you can't open your arms to receive, okay? And also, here we have the moon. So there are things happening. This is a lot of shadow work, a lot of dark night of the soul stuff. You're really digging deep. There's a lot of things that are triggering you right now. You may even be triggered in a way where you'll feel very sensitive to everything around you. You feel like you may be a little bit suspicious of people to the point where it may be a little bit delusional and irrational. You may feel like everyone's out to get you right now, but that's not the case. Because then we had, you know, the temperance card, right? I think it was in the upright. It might have been in the reverse. I'm not too sure. But here we have a card of balance, of trying to just bring your life back into balance so you can heal. 
bring some love into your life through healing. And especially heal your relationship with your parents, please. All right? <coughs> Strongly feminine and masculine energies. Heal it. Blocking you from love, you have the Queen of Wands. Okay? So you might have felt slighted by this person. It's blocking you because you really cared about this person or you got caught. Okay, you got caught or they got caught with being shady or something, some something, but there's resentment here. You're not moving on from that. Like you're not moving on from the past. You're not moving on from what just happened. You keep revisiting the past. So you're on an inner journey right now. You're trying to figure yourself out because there's a lot of stuff that you're holding on to. Okay. Um, the outcome though through the 15th, April 1st to the 15th, is self-love for some of you and for others, a Gemini energy, okay? Gemini twin flame. You have an opportunity to revisit this situation with a Gemini, Virgo, but it's asking you for judgment. So it's asking you to do something completely different. If you want to make this work, you may even have a uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces come into your life. You may be torn between two people. You may have two offers. But at the end of the day, you need to make a change in the way you go about your relationships. You're getting an opportunity to make this change. Okay? Judgment is really shaking things up. Meaning you can no longer do the things that you have been doing and expect the same, like, and expect a different outcome, okay? As an opportunity of love, you have the magician. You are the creator, the manifester. You have water, air, earth, fire at your disposal. You're manifesting. You are manifesting your partner. So you are literally thinking about all the things that you love in someone, and you're like magically manifesting into the earth. Your words, Virgo, are manifesting quickly. So choose your words wisely because look at the speed. You have the Eight of Wands. Everything is happening super fast. You're going to have, a, there's a lot of Gemini energy here. You're going to get a communication from a Gemini, okay? This is long distance, someone kind of far away from you. For others, this is just email texts. All right, and then you're going to have to make a decision. You're going to look at your harvest. You're going to think about, is it worth it? Is this person worth it? Are they long-term potential? Do I want to revisit this situation? So there's a lot to decide this month, but don't let pettiness get in the way because intuitively I'm feeling that you naturally want to hold on to the past, but the past is not going to... It's not going to bring you any clarity, okay? So let's do one oracle card, Virgo, for your love life, for the outcome here of your love, April 1st through the 15th. So the outcome is a renewal. You have, um, you have a second chance to make things right with a Gemini. Okay, or a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. What messages do we have for Virgo? You're not going to expect this love. You're not going to expect this person to come back to you. You're going to be shocked. You don't even realize, like, you don't even realize, like, that they're going to come back. You have no idea. You're like, whoa. Okay. Okay. I witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayer. Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. Okay. This says it all, Virgo. You're going through a deep, this, this, it, it goes hand in hand. Look, it goes hand in hand with this moon energy, the dark night of the soul. Like you're really diving into yourself to kind of align yourself with your, your higher self, your higher consciousness. But in order to do that, you have to be willing to walk this path, 
alone and it and you have to be willing to walk it in the dark okay um you will get a second chance a second opportunity with an ex but it's going to be on you on how you react and how you shift this relationship let ego go and also encourage this partner this gemini um Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, Sag, Aries, um, encourage them to let their ego go in order to meet you halfway. Okay. Thanks so much for going. I'll see you soon at the end of the month. Okay. Bye.